right, there you go. And again, we are going around. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. We give God glory <laughs> and honor Thank and thanksgiving. You, we welcome you to another Agape Love Ministries Kojic midweek bible study amen and so we thank you uh for listening and mm -hmm. joining us tonight our agape love ministry church family mm -hmm. our agape love alumni saints and friends my own family amen amen i, I trust that every one of you had a amen. wonderful thanksgiving amen and now we're ready for another season that's amen. right around the corner yeah, amen yeah, 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 yeah. and we give god glory and honor and praise hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. amen we're coming close to the yes. end of the year and in the in spite of all the challenges and the difficulties that mm -hmm. we see and we face in our world and our culture mm -hmm. uh we know that god is a god that's more than enough he's more than enough. he is mm -hmm. yes he is the mm -hmm. almighty he is el shaddai mm -hmm. the almighty god he is mm -hmm. el elion the most high god Hallelujah. and so we're going to get ready to go into the word of god and prayer mm -hmm. uh i hope i trust that you have your highlighter amen and your bible and pen and paper, and let's get ready to go into the Word of God. I thank God for my daughter, uh, Dr. Sarah Knox. <laughs> Amen. And let's go to the throne of grace. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus, yes. giving you glory, glory, honor, and praise with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Thanking you for what you've already done, what you're yet to do. Yes, Lord. And Lord, as we're getting close to the end of 2022, mm -hmm. getting ready to go into the time of uh, the Christmas season is yes, right around corner and we celebrate you we, we celebrate honor you, you. hallelujah i ask right now father as we touch and agree tonight yes father. that your people will be not only blessed but highly favored yes Lord. that they will be healed um and made whole no matter yes, what's Lord. going on in their life father i pray that they'll be strengthened amen as yes, your Lord. and your angels yes. watching over you did your word say they are are they not all ministering spirits and forth to minister to us who are heirs of salvation? Hallelujah. So, Lord God, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus, Hallelujah. blessings on every grandmother, mm -hmm. great-grandmother, the grandchildren, spouses, their own children, mm -hmm. amen, nephews and nieces and cousins mm -hmm. of their communities. We pray for our, our leadership in our nation, leadership in our our communities and ask that lord god that your will be done mm -hmm. and that god you'll have mercy mm -hmm. and grace upon this nation and upon yes, the lord. cities and the states in this country yes father. father we pray right now for your supernatural intervention your supernatural help intervention. us help today us, lord god. and see about us father. yes father see about us because you said yes, that uh, the nation that that fears the lord not only is going to be blessed but a nation that fears God will prosper. Yes. And so, Lord God, we just lift up our nation and we repent of our sins. We stand in the gap and ask that, Lord God, that you'll work things out mm -hmm. on the behalf of those who are mm -hmm. the saints of God, praying yes, Father. that things will change yes, Lord. for the better. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All right, so mm -hmm. Dr. Sarah, mm -hmm. let's go to Deuteronomy, the okay. 28th chapter. Uh, and I trust again that you have your highlighter. Okay. The God is more than enough. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Uh, is he enough mm -hmm. for your, your, your survival? Is he enough for your healing? Is he enough for your finances? Is mm -hmm. he enough for your, your family being healthy and mm -hmm. strong and prosperous? Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that, Dr. Sarah, Sounds concerning good. about the God that's more than enough. So mm -hmm. let's start with the first few verses. All right. Deuteronomy 28, 1 reads. Mm -hmm. I'm reading out of the, in the New King James Version. In All right. King, okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Now, it came to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today. Yes. That the Lord your God will set you on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. So let's just stop there for a moment. Okay. There are, and I want you to write this down, saints, uh, concerning or underlined it as well, mm -hmm. highlighted as well, that there are conditions mm -hmm. in the, the book of Deuteronomy, which is the fifth, fifth book mm -hmm. of the Torah, the That's Pentateuch. The and, it, and you know, it's called the second law. So you rehearse it again. 
And in the hour that we live in, some people may say, well, you know, we're not in the old covenant, uh, but Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mm -hmm. And so there are some conditions that I believe that are still, you know, God has principles. Gravity is a, a law. It is a divine law. Now, we're, now we're under grace, that's true. Mm -hmm. But there are some things that are in the atmosphere mm -hmm. that God has placed concerning his people that if we obey, mm -hmm. we will receive the blessing. Amen. And so here it says, it shall come to pass so that if you hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all of his commandments. Mm -hmm. And what does it say in that second verse, Dr. Knox? And it says, all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. What does it mean for the blessings of the Lord to overtake us? That's oh my a, gosh, that's a good thing. Uh -huh. So um, I was talking to some kids today and I asked them, what is the most favorite thing uh, what what is the most favorite season of the year for you? And he said, of course, Christmas. All kids uh, okay. agree. All hands down. Christmas <laughs> okay. wins over. It, it trumps Thanksgiving. Christmas mm -hmm. is number one. Okay. And I said, what do you want for Christmas? And of course, the kids go, they all have toys, food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> toys is first on that list. Yeah. list. Above mom. I'm sorry, but I love you, but toys go for one. Uh -huh. And of course, what is the most biggest toy? Cars. Okay. Yeah, a big car, Trump. And, uh, or big truck, he put it. <laughs> and so, you know, you said overtake you. And I begin to think about people that are on our age, you know, or, yes. you know, uh, adults, mm -hmm. you know, how do, what do they like? What are, what are the big ticket items on their list? Cars, trucks, too. It, it, it just relates, kids and adults, you know what I'm saying? So many times mm -hmm. when parents buy gifts for the children, it they, overtakes them. They, it overtakes the children them. children don't even know many times that it's already, <laughs> I remember your grandma, had a, a several rooms mm -hmm. in the house where she mm -hmm. would hide. Oh, try to hide the toys. The yeah. toys. It's like, and, it's like a scavenger hunt. We find them anyway. Uh, and, and you know, the thing about it is like, uh, he's, one kid said, I want, I get a whole lots of toys, a whole uh, lot to overtake them. <laughs> so overtake. God has blessings for us too. And oh listen, and saints, mm -hmm. we don't see God as a, mm -hmm. uh, a divine mm -hmm. Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that our God, is our father and yes. our provider. Yes, totally and we, different. even when he created the garden for man in the book of Genesis, he prepared the garden before he put the man in it. Mm -hmm. So our God is a God who loves us and cares about us. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see uh, again how much how much he cares about us. Uh -huh. There are some conditions mm -hmm. that God has uh, stipulated for Israel uh, at this particular time. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, there's some things that God wants us to respond to, mm -hmm. to inherit and receive the blessings of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so that second verse, again, read it one more time. Sure, sure. It says, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Uh, and so uh, there is mm -hmm. obedient, and, and, and Isaiah 1 and 16, there said, if you be willing and obedient, you'll eat the good of the land. Mm -hmm. Now, he also lets Israel know that you'll be set on high. So mm -hmm. that means God will not only a light to the nations, mm -hmm. but a blessing yeah. to the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So read, go on and read 3 through 7. Okay. 3 reads, blessed shall you be in the city. Yes. And blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, and the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flocks. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall be, blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. My mind. The Lord will, oh, I love this. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. So there is not only the blessing. Let's, let's take a look at this. There's the blessing of prosperity. Mm -hmm. Look what it said. And it's going to follow you wherever you're in the wherever city, mm -hmm. in the marketplace, mm -hmm. in the city. Mm -hmm. Look What else did it say? In the country. In the field. You're, you know, uh, the agricultural people. Mm -hmm. uh, the field was very important. Mm -hmm. uh, a nation that grows uh not only fruits and vegetables and mm -hmm. sends them around the world. Mm -hmm. That was a promise mm -hmm. that God gave them, a mm -hmm. blessing that God, mm -hmm. and think about it, all the fruits and the vegetables that right. uh, Israel right now mm -hmm. sends all, 
Mm -hmm. You know, all, all over the world, I ate pomegranates and right. <laughs> oranges and all kind, mm -hmm. all kinds mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. produce. But look what he says. So he said the fruit of the ground, the body as well, you know, where mm -hmm. um, uh, a healthy body is very mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's a promise of that. Mm -hmm. uh, the fruit of thy body, the fruit of thy ground, the fruit of thy cattle. And of course, uh, that's so important because today mm -hmm. finances uh, really in the GPA of a nation mm -hmm. really helps the, that gross mm -hmm. national product yes, yes. sets them apart. GDP. Amen. Especially uh, uh, in yeah. economic times of inflation mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. distress or famine. It's good mm -hmm. uh, for a nation to have a financial plan and stability, yes. prosperity, mm -hmm. amen, that will keep that nation uh, not only surviving, but what? Thriving. thriving. So somebody say, not only surviving, not surviving. but thriving. thriving. And the God that you serve is more than enough mm -hmm. to help you as his children, mm -hmm. to not only to survive, but thrive. thrive. Amen? Yep, yep. All right. So, and then he says, when you come in and when you go out, that's important. Mm -hmm. He knows you're uprising and you're down mm -hmm. sitting. He knows you're going in and you're coming out. And we're living in a time mm -hmm. now, saints, when you get in your car, you, I hope you're praying because there's so many car accidents, uh, fatalities, and many things because uh, a lot of people just are not driving for safety anymore. They just want to get to where they're going, and uh, red lights mean nothing. So when it says, Dr. Dixon, the increase of your herds and increase of your cattle, uh, yeah, offspring, and flocks, that's a business? That's your businesses. Business. Uh, I would say, yeah, yeah that's why I said you're... Yeah, that's that's right. Your gross national product, okay, your business, okay. and some of us have businesses. Bad. Are you trusting God that God has blessed you as a seed of Abraham? Mm -hmm. Amen. We we are inheritors. Mm -hmm. Amen. We may be Gentiles, but we've been grafted in, mm -hmm. and so the promises of God are yes and amen. And we mm -hmm. can cover. We have covenant with mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. that we can believe that your business, Amen. Whether you have. Uh, no matter what your background is, mm -hmm. your organization, whether you have a school, whether you have a, a ministry, mm -hmm. you may have a home business. Mm -hmm. and, and that's so important today because a lot of people have a second hustle. Is that right? No, right. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can expect those blessings to follow you. Amen. And then he said he'll cause your enemies. Why is that so important, Dr. Dr. Hit the battle is not. The battle's not ours, it's God's. You know, we, we don't have to fight this battle. And so when people, you know, if there's people that are hating on the saints of God, wherever they are, he or she or them, they, uh, God said, don't worry about it. Just praise me and let me do the fight. As let he me. did for Jehoshaphat and Hezekiah yeah. and David. And mm -hmm. Guess what? He's going to protect you too. Mm -hmm. Trust God mm -hmm. because the promise. And, and you know what? Psalms 91 is a good mm -hmm. scripture to confess, meditate, Every day, yes, amen. Yes, that yes. he that dwelleth in the secret place of the mm -hmm. Most High shall, shall abide God. under the shadow of the Almighty. Yes. He will protect your uprising Hallelujah. and your down city. You're going in, you're coming out, yes. and that's so important. Mm -hmm. So your enemies and God know. He mm -hmm. said that He knows that we have adversity. Mm -hmm. He knows that we have adversaries. But the promise here, the God that's more. That's <laughs> listen to what it says here. Mm -hmm. Our topic: the God who is more than enough. More than enough. Well, He has His angels assigned. <laughs> Mm -hmm. to your life, mm -hmm. to your family, to your children, amen, to watch over them and keep them in all their ways. Mm -hmm. But you, amen, out of the words of your mouth, you mm -hmm. confess it mm -hmm. and release those promises mm -hmm. of God. Keep on reading. Read amen. 8 through 5, 8, 8 through 9. Good. And the 8 says, the Lord will command. Come, will do Ooh, what? Command. That, you know what? <laughs> command means that I God has it. already sanctioned it. Look at somebody Authorized in your home. It. Say, say, it's already done. It's already done. Put your hands up and say, it's already done. It's already done. All right. Amen. He'll command the blessings. Go uh -huh. ahead. On you, in your storehouses, and in, and in all to which you set your hand, and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You know, I found that in three different places. That's right. Numbers here and in Psalms. <laughs> That's right. That. And God did indeed keep yes. his word to he Israel. Word. He blessed mm -hmm. them in the land. Mm -hmm. And he's still blessing them yes, yes, in the land. Yes, keep yes. on and read the ninth verse. All right. Nine says, the Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself, just as he has sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in in his way so that's a condition mm -hmm. now a lot of times people say well you know 
uh, we're not under the law. Again, I want to reiterate, mm -hmm. we know that, but God is the same yesterday, today, today and, and forever. forever. Mm -hmm. And when Christ came, we know that, amen, grace came. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, some things are conditional. And it's good for us to know mm -hmm. what God has established from the beginning mm -hmm. and that we can glean mm -hmm. from those uh Amen. For what God promised the children yes, of Israel, yes, because yes. we are now the seed of Abraham through Abraham. faith in Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I want to know what did God? What was God's mm -hmm. His promises? Because His mm -hmm. promises are yes and amen and amen. And in the him. Apostle Paul yes. reminded us that Thank that you. the promises of God. So mm -hmm. walk in His ways. Remember, mm -hmm. Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, mm -hmm. and the life." Mm -hmm. So there's something about following God's instruction and hearkening to His voice. Hear God for yourself. He said in Hosea 4 and 6, my people are what? Destroyed for a lack of knowledge. For a lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I submit to you, anything that you don't have, mm -hmm. that you need, mm -hmm. remember he is the God that's more than enough. He mm -hmm. is the almighty El Shaddai. Yes, he and is. if I'm lacking anything in my, my life, I need to find out what does God mm -hmm. say about what I right, need, whether right, it's yeah. healing, mm -hmm. deliverance, mm -hmm. prosperity, mm -hmm. peace, mm -hmm. protection, divine favor. What is it on your mind, saints, tonight? What is it that you're lacking? Amen. We're living in a very peculiar time, a very precarious times right now. Mm -hmm. And so we need to make sure Thank that we're holding on to the promises of God. Mm -hmm. Read 11. You do 10. Oh, 10 and 11 and all 12. Right, 10 yeah. says, amen. Then all peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body. See? In the increase of your livestock and in the produce of your ground, in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. Go oh. on and read that. That's, the, that's, <laughs> right, that, right. that's that promise of, yes. of prosperity and mm -hmm. blessing. Mm -hmm. And we need it right now, saints, because mm -hmm. we don't know what the economic mm -hmm. culture and uh, there's a shift coming. A shift. And we need to be wise as right. a serpent, harmless as a dove, mm -hmm. and prepare for what's coming. Mm -hmm. And Build your faith now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Trust God. Find out what Hallelujah. does his word Hallelujah. say about meeting your Hallelujah. needs, that he is the God that's more than enough. Mm -hmm. Keep on. Mm -hmm. 12 reads, the Lord will open to you his good treasure. Yes, yes. The heavens to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Look what it said. Mm -hmm. He'll bless the work of your hand. Mm -hmm. And so, Dr. Knox, that's talking about whether you have a business. Mm -hmm. Or just a nine to five. Or a side hustle. Or a side hustle. <laughs> or ministry. Or your ministry. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever your hands find to do. You know, you may have a little home <laughs> business. And, amen. I, I told you how I used to make the little ugly cakes. But, but people sure bought them because of, and they, they taste good. But they, <laughs> Listen, uh, some of you right now that are listening, you're saying, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, the holiday is coming. I talked to you about that last year. Mm -hmm. But guess what? God will bless mm -hmm. the work of your hands. Mm -hmm. uh, claim the promises of God. They're Hallelujah. yes and amen. Trust that God can do. Uh, he can, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, bless you beyond anything you can ask That's or think. According to the According power. To the power. That's where it is. Work it in you yes. and through you. Use your faith. Confess mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Trust God to give you mm -hmm. uh, creative ideas. Mm -hmm. And listen, because we're going to need it in the days to come. Mm -hmm. Keep on reading. Amen. That was 12, 12. 14. Okay, we read 12 again. Okay, the Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season. And to bless all the work of your hand, you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be above only. I like that word. Absolutely only. Only. Above only. Only. only uh -huh. And not beneath. If you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them. You know, before you read that 14th uh, verse, right. mm -hmm. um, but look what it says here. You will lend, and you know the, and you know the, uh, what is it? The borrower is subject to the, to the lender. lender. So mm -hmm. get out of debt. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yep, yep. Many of the men and women of God have uh, been telling us for at least ten or fifteen mm -hmm. years, become debt free. debt free. So I want you to lift your hand to the Lord. And say, Lord, Lord, I receive. I receive my prosperity. My prosperity, and I will become. And I will become. I trust you right now. I trust you right now. Become debt free. Just become debt free. Now, what does that mean? When you <laughs> write down your debts, yes. on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. write down, mm -hmm. Amen, the things that mm -hmm. that you owe, man. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's a mortgage, whether it's uh, you know, uh, 
car notes mm -hmm. or whatever bought loans that mm -hmm. you borrow mm -hmm. and trust God mm -hmm. pray over them listen mm -hmm. every year I've done that mm -hmm. you know uh, we needed to uh, get uh, our mortgage paid off and we got it paid off early mm -hmm. you know for the church mm -hmm. amen I needed my car to be paid off paid it off early mm -hmm. amen and so whatever you're trusting God I believe that you will receive mm -hmm. if you believe confess mm -hmm. it confess. And, and listen but there's a discipline yes amen uh, if you're trying yes. to get out of debt you don't say well I got an extra five hundred dollars so I'm gonna go right, and buy a lot right, of stuff right. no mm -hmm. uh -uh. we were disciplined and we mm -hmm. targeted yes. that debt yeah. And I want to encourage you to target Hallelujah. your debt. Hallelujah. Trust God to bless you to pay it off mm -hmm. because we're living in a time mm -hmm. now whether there's an economic shift right around the corner. We don't know, but you don't want mm -hmm. to have that burden mm -hmm. of debt because mm -hmm. God will bless you to become debt free. You got to see yourself debt free. You got to see yourself debt free mm -hmm. and use your money wisely. Mm -hmm. Save some, spend some, and mm -hmm. most of all, get, get that debt, get that debt out of your life. Yes. Amen. 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 Saints. Amen. All right. Amen. Okay. Read that 14 verse. Amen. Tithe and give as well. And yeah, you're giving. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. 14 reads. So you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. Now that's so important. Mm -hmm. Your relationship with God. Remember, God is a jealous God. Yes. And he loves you more than you can imagine. And there are mm -hmm. so many temptations today. Mm -hmm. But stay focused mm -hmm. on your relationship with God. Uh, he promised he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Mm -hmm. He said, Lord, I'll be with you always, even to the end of the age. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We should also tell the Lord, I'll never leave you. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about that? Mm -hmm. uh, amen. I, I tell God all the time, so many times every day, keep me by the power of your spirit. Yes. Lord, I submit to you. Mm -hmm. I yield to you. I humble myself. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you maintain that relationship mm -hmm. with God. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's more important mm -hmm. today than ever before. Mm -hmm. It's more important that you stay committed to God. Yes. In the time that we live in, mm -hmm. ain't no time for backsliding, no saints. No time for backsliding. Ain't no time for being laissez-faire and mm -hmm. lollygagging and getting caught up with the world. Mm -hmm. But you want to stay committed mm -hmm. to Now, I'm not saying that you don't minister to the world. I'm not saying that you don't ever go out and try to win a soul. Mm -hmm. Because how are they going to know if we don't never uh, present ourselves, as Jesus said, mm -hmm. uh, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. But we don't get stuck there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We're there to reach them. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes, amen. And depending on how connected you are, mm -hmm. your strength, amen, to not only win them the Lord and bring them, mm -hmm. you know, to that uh, place where God can, you know, take over their life. Mm -hmm. Can God can say, you know, listen, this is my child and you and you have a part of that. That's part of your fruit. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to say it again. That's part of your fruit. Mm -hmm. Jesus said in St. John, the 15th chapter, he wants us to be productive and productive fruitful. And fruitful. Win those souls yes, while yes. we have time. That's because yes. remember, the night is coming. We know that could work. And we can see that. Let's go to Joshua. All right. The first chapter. Amen. And Joshua, Joshua. amen. There's many things that was repeated. Mm -hmm. In the book of Joshua, mm -hmm. amen, that amen. God wanted Joshua to understand. So I want you to start at Joshua, the first chapter, mm -hmm. and let's look at the third verse and go down there, too, and then we'll, yeah, read three through five, and then we'll stop there for a minute, and then we'll go on. Okay. Three says, every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you, as I said to Moses, Yes. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. Yes. All the land of the Hittites and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. Amen. No man, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Didn't Jesus say those exact words? Yes, he did. Amen. And so, <laughs> again, 
Does God watch over his word to, to perform? perform? Yes, he does. He does God it. keep his word? He, he's a keeper of his word. Amen. He's a promise keeper. I Is like that right, Saints? Verse 23, 19, he cannot lie. <laughs> yeah, he's not a man that he should lie, not a son of man that he should repent. If God yeah. spoke it, he'll make it good. Yes. And he watched, Jeremiah right. said he watches over his word to do what, Saints? Perform it. To perform mm -hmm. it. So here he is reminding the children of Israel mm -hmm. that he's going to make sure mm -hmm. that every, and it gives Joshua the order because jo Joshua is the, com he's in command. He's in command. He is the leader. Mm -hmm. Moses had passed on from the scene. Mm -hmm. Now Joshua is in leadership mm -hmm. and he's given him a divine mandate. Mm -hmm. You know, you are the leader in your family. Now, if you're not saved, this is a good time to give your life to Amen. Jesus. Like I said a couple of weeks ago Ooh. for Thanksgiving, this is a good time to say, Lord, forgive me my sins. Yes. I confess them mm -hmm. and give your life to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You will and can be born again mm -hmm. if you confess to the Lord Amen. with your whole heart. If you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth the mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. thou shalt be saved. Yes. And when you become saved, well, then God puts you in that leadership role because mm -hmm. a lot of times we think, well, it's all about, you know, and thank God for leadership in the church. But you have the ability mm -hmm. to minister to your children. I wasn't mm -hmm. saved long before I was ministering to you and Jamal. Right, right. Mm -hmm. We would do Bible studies mm -hmm. in our home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. When they were very little. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So God wants us to understand that uh, that he gave this divine mandate mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, to yes. Joshua. So Amen. keep on reading. All right. And we six are, through, okay, yeah. six. Be strong and of good courage. For to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Yes. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left. My mind. That you may prosper. That you may do what? Prosper. Hallelujah. Wherever you go. So God wants us to keep that word. He look what he says, be strong. Mm -hmm. Says God wants you to be strong and the joy of the Lord is our strength. Our strength. But look what he Amen. said, and of a good courage. Mm -hmm. So we're living in a time now. Take courage. Mm -hmm. Don't let, don't be intimidated. Mm -hmm. God did not give us the spirit of fear, but a mm -hmm. power, love, and a sound mind. Oh, so, amen. Even as he told Israel, amen, don't uh, be strong and of a good courage. Mm -hmm. And he gave him this mandate, divide the land. Mm -hmm. There is an inheritance. And God has an inheritance for you. We're going to see that we are heirs and joint heirs mm -hmm. with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're going to go to the new covenant in a minute mm -hmm. and bear that out. Yeah. But only be strong mm -hmm. and courageous that thou may observe to do mm -hmm. according to all the law. Do you know that when you get fearful, sometimes people get fearful. They don't read the word of God anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They stop going to church. Well, why do you think that happens? That fear is paralyzing them or just... Why they don't go to church or why they're fearful? Why they? Well, how does fear affect their relationship? Well, fear, fear is incapacitating sometimes. It, it, it brings torment. Fear yes. brings torment. And the opposite of fear is faith. So if you're not doing what God called you to do, you're not going where God told you to go, you're not saying what he told you to say, you're just totally in neglect and you're not doing anything, you're just sitting there like a lump on a log, you got to check and say, am I in fear? Because if a person is in fear, why? why? What do you have to fear? When God says perfect love, casts out all fear. That's great. And, mm -hmm. and remember, fear will, time, will, will not only many times uh, cause us to hesitate, yes. to doubt, mm -hmm. uh, to feel like, well, mm -hmm. I'm just going to you know, quit on God. And like mm -hmm. I told you all last week, mm -hmm. don't quit on God. Mm -hmm. Keep going forward. Be courageous. God mm -hmm. will give us the spirit mm -hmm. of faith. Faith. Not the spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. He didn't give you the spirit of fear. No. So he reminds Joshua uh, not oh, to. Oh, too. Also, uh -huh. fear also is a something that needs to be learned. It's a pattern that needs to be learned. Like, for instance, how does a kid know the fire is hot? Mm. Unless you tell them. Otherwise, they're going to try to touch the fire. And then once they get burned, they say, oh, yeah, don't touch the fire. But if you tell them, they know don't touch the fire. Well, that's a referential fear. That's a God. The, when, 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 <laughs> there's, a, there's a referential fear. There's a warning. But we're talking about the kind of fear that that, oh, that distracts mm -hmm. and keeps people from going forward in All what right. God called them to do. Right. So let's look at the eighth verse and read that. Eight says, this book of the law shall not depart out or from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein, 
Julia or saying King James that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. And success in every area of your life. Mm -hmm. Success, I, 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 you know, I don't mm -hmm. want to be successful mm -hmm. when it just comes to finances, but mm -hmm. when it comes to relationships, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, uh, it's so important to be well blessed and well rounded mm -hmm. in our life, uh, being uh, not only uh, able to connect with a family, because mm -hmm. remember, God gives even the lonely, even those who don't have family, mm -hmm. he'll bring them into relationships with, mm -hmm. with the church family. You have the mm -hmm. family of God. Yes. And so that, so God will make sure mm -hmm. that relationships are very important mm -hmm. to your wholeness, to your wellness, uh, to your peace of mind, that you're not somewhere isolated. You know, you can have a whole lot of money, but you don't have anybody to share with or mm -hmm. anyone to enjoy your life with. Sometimes then life seems less then, but God wants you to be made whole mm -hmm. in every area. Every area. Good success mm -hmm. includes relationships. Mm -hmm. Say that with me. Good success. Good success includes good relationships. Includes good relationships. Amen. And God wants us to have those good relationships. So then, that ninth verse. What did they say? Amen. Riches is not just money. It, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Not just money. Mm -hmm. Have I not commanded you? Be strong, and be of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you, whithersoever or wherever you go. And so again, we, we see here in the Old Covenant how mm -hmm. God had laid the plan for mm -hmm. Israel to prosper and mm -hmm. be blessed. Mm -hmm. And the promises of God are yes and amen. And listen, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever because mm -hmm. we see much of what we see here mm -hmm. in the Old Covenant, mm -hmm. remember in the New Covenant, mm -hmm. it is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. The Old Covenant, the, the New Testament, is concealed. Yes. So one is revealed and one is concealed. So now, let's go to the book of Philippians okay. and see and bear this out. And I trust again, saints, that you are writing these down because mm -hmm. we're living in a time now. We, we need to be astute. Mm -hmm. of God's word. Mm -hmm. We need to study to show ourselves approved unto God. Mm -hmm. A workman need not be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Rightly dividing the word of God and not just studying it, but applying it. Not just uh, reading it, but meditating. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because we need to apply this every day in our life because we're coming into, we're in the last days, y'all, and I'm telling you, things are going to get rough. Mm -hmm. It's going to get bumpy. But amen, God will be with you. So Hold on to that seat, that seat belt. <laughs> that's right. Go to Philippians 2, and let's look yes, at the 13th verse. All right, 2 and 13. And it reads. Well, read 12 and 13. 12. Mm -hmm. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Uh-huh. For it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. So again, here about Paul, uh, the Apostle Paul, now we're in the New Covenant. So he is speaking to the mm -hmm. Philippian church mm -hmm. and encouraging the saints in Philippi. Mm -hmm. Look what he said, wherefore my beloved is you have always obeyed. Mm -hmm. Remember obedience, remember there's, there's a there's a blessing in obedience. Amen. And so Paul is admonishing them. Mm -hmm to be obedient, to remain obedient. Mm -hmm. And he said, not just in my presence only. Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. does that mean? Not just a, when, when somebody's not looking at you, are you mm -hmm. going to be obedient? Right, right. It's God, I'm so I'm so grateful. He has an honor system with all his children. Yes. And so, you know, he's not, we don't, we can't see God. You know, he sees us, I'm about to say, but, 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 but he sees us, we just can't see him. So, be it the pastor is the closest thing to God that you get to. So if your pastor's not in your vicinity, are you still gonna be saved? Well, we got uh, we have the fivefold ministry that we should follow, <laughs> and we, there's the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor and teacher, and the say, and remind, the Bible says, know them that labor among you. And so I believe what you're saying is. You know, mm -hmm. it's one thing to be in church mm -hmm. uh, and be obedient, mm -hmm. but when you're gone, when you're mm -hmm. outside, when you're driving down right, the street, right. are you going to still mm -hmm. uh, represent Christ? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be a Christian that on your job? When people mm -hmm. say, oh, you don't want to be a Christian. People say, they say, right, I didn't even right. know that they were saved. They mm -hmm. go to church mm -hmm. because our behavior, mm -hmm. again, we're to be imitators of Christ. We're like a city that sits upon a hill yes. that cannot be hid. Amen. And remember, blessings follow Obedience. Say it again. 
Blessings follow what? Blessings follow the obedience. Okay. So again, mm -hmm. for it is the will, look what it said, for it is God which worketh. Mm -hmm. See, God works his will and the to-do mm -hmm. of his good pleasure. Mm -hmm. Amen. Look what it said. Mm -hmm. For it is God which worketh in, mm -hmm. in you both to will and, and the to do of his good pleasure. Amen. So that's so important. Well, let's go on. We're almost done. Let's go to Ephesians 1 and 11. Right. Ephesians. Ephesians 1 and 11. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because, you know, what? let's, you know what? God wants us to be equipped for this new uh, thing that's coming on the earth, y'all. And if y'all haven't seen it, mm -hmm. uh, believe it. We are living in perilous times. Now, it's not like it was, you know, when our mothers five and grandmothers, ago, yeah. uh, even five, things have changed so <laughs> radically. What are you going to do to prepare? Mm -hmm. God wants to equip you. So Ephesians 1 and 11, what does it say? Now let me read. In him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined See? according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. See? And so what is just like we just read, it's God that works the will and to do of his good pleasure. Mm -hmm. But look what it said, in whom we also have obtained an, an inheritance. Mm -hmm. Galatians 3 says we have an heir, we're an heir and joint heir with Christ Jesus. We have, we, mm -hmm. you ha whatever, remember what God promised the children of Israel yes. in Deuteronomy mm -hmm. and in Joshua. Mm -hmm. All of those blessings are now mm -hmm. for you yeah. as well yeah. and included. We're, we're, there's no longer the separation. Amen. But we have come one in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So look what it said. Mm -hmm. So Paul is telling now the church at Ephesus, mm -hmm. in whom we have obtained. Mm -hmm. We have done what, sir? Obtained. We have received. We have obtained. Mm -hmm. We have acquired. Acquired. Amen. Okay. But you got to receive it. You got to receive. Take it's it. It's up to you. Got it. That's right. Take That's it. right. Take it. Inheritance. I know where you got that from too. That's good. Acquire means take. Amen. <laughs> Being predestined. Yes. Amen. According to the mm -hmm. purpose, God has a purpose for your prosperity, mm -hmm. a purpose for your blessing, to help people, to help the church, mm -hmm. to help your community, mm -hmm. to help your nation. Wherever, whatever, however God has blessed you, he works the will and to do mm -hmm. in you. There's something that God has given to every person. There's a gifting, there's an ability, oh, there's you, a talent, mm -hmm. so that you can be a blessing mm -hmm. uh, to whoever God puts in your pathway. Yes, yes, According yes. to the purpose of him who worked mm -hmm. all things after mm -hmm. After what? The counsel of his will. Of his will. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the counselor. Mm -hmm. And God, your blessings, your talent, mm -hmm. your gift, mm -hmm. he will counsel you. How do you do mm -hmm. and how do you perform the will of God? Mm -hmm. Well, remember, uh, again, God has a plan. I know the plans God's, that I have for you, said God's Jeremiah, in the, in the book of Jeremiah. They're, they're, they're of good the, and not the, of evil. To, to give you a what? Well expected in. That's right. Mm -hmm. And expected in or future and a whole. Well, yeah. let's go on. We got uh, Ephesians 2 and 10. 2 and 10? Yeah. Okay, where are we in? Okay, we're in 1, so let's go to 2. Yeah, so let's go to the second chapter of Ephesians. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see this confirmation right. concerning what God has placed in you mm -hmm. so that you can receive mm -hmm. what he says, the God who is more than enough. Mm -hmm. Read that. All right. Mm -hmm. for, it says, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared before, beforehand that we should walk in them. So, okay, so again, look what it says. For we are his, what? Workmanship. Every ability, every talent, every gift, mm -hmm. God has equipped you for good works and you'll be a blessing to all of those mm -hmm. that he puts in your pathway, mm -hmm. uh, wherever his purposes and mm -hmm. plan has designed for you to be, mm -hmm. whether it's in, uh, a city, the field, the mm -hmm. country, overseas, mm -hmm. wherever. Now, uh, as a matter of fact, go down there to that 12 verse as well. All right, 12 read. That at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But what that 13th verse tells us? <laughs> but now. But now. In Christ Jesus. Yes. You who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Because Jesus Hallelujah. shed his blood. Yeah, Jesus. Yes, you yes. gave your life to the Lord. You are mm -hmm. saved. But if you're not saved again tonight, mm -hmm. I, as you're listening, I really want you to say yes to the Lord. Yes. Yes to his will. Yes. The be, you know, look what it says here concerning being, at one time we were alienated. Mm -hmm. At one time we were not part of God's covenant plan mm -hmm. for mankind. Mm -hmm. But through the blood of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. we are now 
part of that Hallelujah. part of the not only the body of Christ, mm -hmm. the bride of Christ. Mm -hmm. We are Amen. Hallelujah. The Hallelujah. children of the Most High God. Hallelujah. We are sons and daughters Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And He has a plan for our life. Mm -hmm. The 13th verse said, But now in Christ Jesus, you who are afar off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Again, this is the promises mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. And again, remember, all the promises of God are what? Yes oh, and amen. amen. For He amen. is our peace, who have made both mm -hmm. one have broken down that middle wall Hallelujah. of addition. Ooh, ooh. And so we become one flesh. We read yes. that 15th verse. And then having abolished in his flesh yes. the enmity, that is, the law of commandments are contained in ordinances. An ordinance is like a law. That's right. So as to create in himself one new man from the two. Hallelujah. Thus making peace so we are <laughs> amen jew and gentile amen you, you read that what? 16 verse i love it close out 16 says and that he might reconcile them both to god in one body through the cross thereby putting to death the enmity Amen. Uh, so uh, there's no more. There's no more <laughs> enemy. There's no more, no more distance. We can come boldly to the throne Throwing of grace prayer. and to uh, have a relationship with God our Father. To love. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. That we yes. can we can go right Hallelujah. to the throne of grace Hallelujah. and uh, find help and grace uh, in mercy. time of need. Great. Listen, yes. you can come boldly to the throne of grace Hallelujah. and find grace and mercy to help in yes. the time of need. Because yes. why? Christ made the way we are reconciled Hallelujah. back to God. Hallelujah. Look at that 16 Hallelujah. verse. And that he might reconcile both unto God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. In one body, Hallelujah. by the cross. Yes, yes, Jesus yes. Christ died Hallelujah. on that cross, yes, shed yes. his blood. Yes. And yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes, yes. Hallelujah. And so we are his children now yes, by are. faith in Hallelujah. him. And the 17th Hallelujah. and the 18th Hallelujah. verse says. 17 says, and he came and preached peace to you who were afar off. And to those who were near. Uh huh. And the 18th verse. For through him. So through who? Through him. Uh huh. We both have access by one spirit to the Father. That's the Holy uh, to Spirit. The Father. That's right. By one spirit. The, the Holy Father, Spirit translated us. That's right. To the Father. <laughs> and the 19th verse. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. So we have the inheritance, we have the covenant, we have yeah. the promises. Yeah. Yeah. All of that is fulfilled in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. He said he didn't come to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. Fulfilling. So y'all see where I'm going with this lesson tonight. Mm -hmm. There is a fulfillment through Christ. Mm -hmm. And so now all the promises of God are mm -hmm. yes and yes. amen. Our amen. last scripture, mm -hmm. let's go to Hebrews 13. Love it. Amen. Because I, I, you know what, saints, it's really been on my heart because of the time that we're living in mm -hmm. that we get ready. For the, things are changing mm -hmm. rapidly. We are in the end of the last days. So you mean put down our shouting shoes and pick up our rapture shoes? Amen. Get ready. Yes, we. So, yes, the rapture Ooh. can take place. Listen, <laughs> the rap. Nothing else has to happen for God to rapture us up. Amen. But amen. we know the second coming. There's still some things that have to be mm -hmm. there on God's calendar. Get amen. ready. But saints of the most high god mm -hmm. be rapture ready mm -hmm. have your family ready mm -hmm. save as many as you can mm -hmm. take as many with you as you can mm -hmm. amen but most of all stay connected to stay god connected. stay connected connected take stay connected, connected. Amen. Amen. And you know what? God sees your prayer. He hears your prayers. Mm -hmm. And I believe that he's going to save our loved ones. Amen. 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 So our last scripture. Okay. Now, I want you to read um, 20 and 21. What chapter? Hebrews, the 13th chapter. And we're closing. Okay, 20. All right, 20 says, Now may the God of peace, who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd. He is the what? That great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you uh, what is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. So everything that God has for you to do, mm -hmm. he works the will and to the do of his good pleasure. Mm -hmm. 
he 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 saves us and works out everything according to the counsel Hallelujah. of his will. Not yes, my will, not yes, yes, yes. opinions of, of mankind, not mm -hmm. social medias, mm -hmm. but God's will. Yes. And if I can fulfill those, mm -hmm. that will, mm -hmm. God's promises are yes and amen. Yes and amen. Amen. He has blessings for you and your family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is going to keep that which he commit, oh, you commit unto him against that, day. against that day. And saints, no matter what comes on, because it's coming down the road, mm -hmm. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Will you be ready, Will you be ready when Jesus comes? Come? Are you equipped <laughs> to do all that God has called to do? The Holy Ghost working the will and the do Hallelujah. of God's good pleasure yes. in you. Mm -hmm. But let him work the work. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. And let him let his will be done. Yes, yes, yes. Help as many people as you can. Mm -hmm. Minister to as many people as you can. Mm -hmm. But give them the truth. Yes. Give yes. them the unadulterated Hallelujah. truth. Of God's word. Jesus paid it all. Yes, he did. And to all of him I owe. Because sin had left a crimson, crimson stain. stain. But Jesus yes. washed it white as snow. Yes. And that's why he came. Mm -hmm. Saints, we're getting ready to celebrate his birth. Uh, I want you to make a note of this. Saturday, December Hallelujah. 17th at 2.30 at Agape Love Deliverance Church at yes. what's the address? 4716 West Lisbon Avenue. Amen. In the city of Milwaukee, <laughs> Wisconsin, <laughs> we are celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? It's so important. I like the Indians say, May Wa K. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. But we're 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 gonna be mm -hmm. celebrating. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be singing. There's gonna be great preaching. We have yes. a great preacher coming. Dynamic preacher. That's gonna be bringing the Hallelujah. word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, Woody, Woody, chili sauce, chili sauce came hey. on guitar. I tell you, <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, we got uh, musicians that's gonna be <laughs> blessing our heart. Amen. You know, Amen. Uh, listen. You don't want to miss it. Mm -mm. There's no cover charge. Mm -mm. This is at the church. Amen. Just come on and help us celebrate yes. the birth of our Lord and Savior. Amen. To un Amen. unto us a child is born. And unto us the, the son, son is, is given. given. Amen. Amen. So if you have any questions, give us a call at 414-204-4951. Or at our email. 9641. At our email. drjmdixon2000 at gmail.com. Amen. So we're looking forward to, to meeting yes, you yes. and seeing you there uh, for our Christmas Glory concert. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had an awesome time when we did that album, and we do have albums. And they'll be available mm -hmm. if you want to buy, you know, uh, mm -hmm. I'll buy one. But I'm yeah, telling you, yeah, yeah. you're going to be blessed with the singing, the preaching, oh, the, the message. Uh, amen. It's going to be wonderful. Holy Ghost. Bring your family. And we're going to be taking day. pictures, too. Yes, you know, yes, amen. Yes, amen. We're going to be taking Christmas pictures. So we have a backdrop. If you want to bring your family and say, you know what, I haven't done a, a, a photo, photo, shoot. Thing, a photo shoot with my family mm -hmm. in years. So come on Holidays and be a part Sunday. of it. Amen. And the Lord bless you and keep you. Mm -hmm. Most of all, remember the joy of the Lord is your, is your strength. strength. Be blessed. Amen.